British Columbia is asking if the province has a constitutional case to limit heavy oil moving through the province by appealing to the BC Court of Appeal, asking them if the province has the ability to do this. That's the highest court uh, that they can go to to ask for this as a direct reference question for the government of BC. It, of course, is the latest move in the ongoing spat with Alberta and the federal government over the Kinder Morgan pipeline. Here is what Premier John Horgan had to say at the announcement today. We believe that we have been on a course uh, all along to defend the interests of British Columbians, which is what we set out to do when we were sworn in as a government last uh, July. We will have to see what other jurisdictions do, what uh, our neighbours uh, have to say about this and other provocative actions that they may be taking. And we'll have to see uh, what other uh, people do and, and respond accordingly. I don't want to say this is the beginning or the end. This is another step. Another step. Well, joining me to discuss that step now is constitutional lawyer Ian Blue. He's someone who knows provincial jurisdiction cases very well. He recently served as the lead counsel representing Gerard, Gerard, Gerard Como, pardon me, in the Free the Beer case that was so interesting at the Supreme Court. Uh, Mr. Blue, you know, they're going to ask if they have the right to turn the taps off. Does BC have a case here? In my opinion, it does not. I think that the piece of legislation, the amendment to the Environmental Management Act that um, Mr. Horgan is putting forward is uh, nonsense. It um, applies only to bitumen from Alberta. I think the uh, BC Court of Appeal will probably say that that act by itself on its face is within provincial jurisdiction, but I think it will say that it cannot apply to, uh, pipe, to uh, bitumen traveling through a pipeline in BC for export. Uh, elsewhere. Now, if the BC Court of Appeal says what you anticipate they will, and it's not what the BC government wants to hear, what happens next? Since Alberta and the federal government did not decide to become fellow applicants in this, it doesn't automatically go to the Supreme Court. What's sort of the case ahead for this particular appeal? Okay, the purpose of the uh, reference, in my opinion, is pure delay. Uh, right now, they have no idea when the B.C. Uh, Court of Appeal will hear this case. Um, it's a matter of uh, two months mandatory preparation time before they can even have a case management conference with the court to set a date. But uh, speaking to uh, counsel for the province today, um, I was told that they have no idea when the case will be held. Will be wow, heard. and obviously this is this is a time-sensitive case that we're talking about because we've heard from Kinder Morgan that they want to know by May uh, in that timeline at the latest whether or not this is going ahead. They're going to make the decision on whether to pull the plug by then. So it sounds like this absolutely at a minimum is going to push it past their deadline. Well, the um, reference when I read it, it's not something that should stop the construction of the Kinder Morgan pipeline. There's no reason why the reference could be, couldn't be argued and pipeline construction go ahead. It refers to a material going through the pipeline, so the presumption is the pipeline will have been built. But um, in my opinion, the um, province will lose that reference. They can, of course, appeal from there to the Supreme Court of Canada. But if the Supreme Court of Canada follows precedent, um, they should lose there. But there's nothing in the reference to um, stop the pipeline construction from going ahead. It's just a matter of how good of the legal opinions. I suppose you never know what a court will do. Well, I just wanted to ask you about that Supreme Court angle because you were in the Como case and certainly it looked like the court there was really asserting provincial rights. I know all the reporters in the lockup were scouring the decision for any hints on where things might go if there was a reference to come on this particular issue. What do you think the Supreme Court would have to say on it based on the case that you just saw? Well, I think that the, um, the, the what will happen is that there is a question of paramountcy. If, does the provincial law conflict with the federal law, the National Energy Board Act? It does. The, the rule is quite simple, and the uh, Supreme Court of Canada has applied it consistently over the years. If there is such a conflict, the federal legislation prevails, and the provincial legislation simply becomes inoperative as it uh, seeks to affect the federal work and undertaking. Okay, so BC, you think perhaps not a lot of a chance with this in court legally, but there is a political and strategic reason for undertaking this. Uh, in my opinion, there is. Uh, in my opinion, okay. they're hoping for delay. Perhaps they would hope that the um, British Columbia Court of Appeal would issue a, 
an order to stop construction. Uh, but um, I think that's unlikely. I think the BC Court of Appeal reads the newspaper too. They understand this is for delay. There's nothing in the Constitutional Questions Act that uh, allows the reference to jump the queue. So I think um, the British Columbia Court of Appeal probably will say it's all in a day's work. We'll get to it when we get to it. But there's nothing, there's nothing in the reference to stop the pipeline from being constructed. Fascinating to follow. Well, thank you very much for your expertise today, sir. Uh, you're most welcome.